Hi, this is Mike, WB4HUC, and I wanted to talk a little bit about version 4.40 of the N4PY Pegasus Plus software. This is the most recent version that was released just in the last few days, and um, there's one feature that's been enhanced that I'd like to talk about. In the previous version, you could have up to five virtual serial ports defined to talk to other software. Well, that's been increased to eight serial ports. And not only that, but the management of the ports has been moved to the settings uh, window, where before, if you wanted to make any changes to the port assignments, you had to edit the pegasus.ini file. Well, now you don't have to do that. So before I installed the software, I went ahead and used I use VSP manager but whatever software you use to create uh, virtual serial ports you'll want to make sure that you have eight that you can use that aren't dedicated to something else um, so either create the eight that you need or you know create enough to make eight ports so here's what I did um, I just started with uh, the pairs and uh, the high numbered uh, pair, the high numbered port in the pair will be used by the N4PY software and the low numbered port will be used by the external software. As you can see, uh, COM11 is used by SDR Uno and then 21 will be used by uh, N4PY software. So once you define these ports, um, then you can install the software so when you click the executable to install the software, near the end of the installation process there will be a checkbox that uh, where if you leave it checked, the N4PY software will start after the installation is finished. Uncheck that box so that the software won't start when the installation is finished. And then go ahead and finish the installation. And then before you start the software, copy your Pegasus.ini file from your current version of the N4PY software over into the folder for 4.40 and you do that so that all your settings that you've previously established will be there when you start 4.40 and once those things are done you've built your serial ports and you have uh, copied your existing pegasus.ini file into the folder for 4.40 you can start the software so this is what I'm going to do. And what you'll see, so here's the external ports uh, window. So here's all your normal settings. Uh, if your software starts out up here or somewhere else, just click the drop down arrow and go down to external ports. Oop, I missed it. I'll get there. There we go. So in my case, as I said, I had five defined in the previous version. So here they are. Um, one, two, three, four, five. And then the three new ones are not assigned yet. So now instead of having to edit the Pegasus.ini file, you can just assign them right here on the screen. So if we look over here at the uh, VSP Manager software, you can see that uh, COM11, as we saw before, is for SDR Uno. COM21 is for the Pegasus Plus program. So if I start other software, for instance, if I start my logging program, and my logging program will uh, set my computer time to a time standard. Um, I do this mostly for FT8 because you know the, the time in FT8 has to be very close uh, to everyone else's time. Anyway, it does that when it starts. And you can see it's connected. So we're 707-4020 here, we're 707-4020 here, and just to give you 
something to look at. Here's the. Uh, I always have to fix this. So here we go. All right, back to what we were doing. So you can see that uh, we're using COM12 over here, which is COM22 over here, and we're connected. If I change this, this will change. So the logging program is connected, uh, SDR Uno is connected, and if I were to start uh, the WSJT software, we can see that it's also connected. Now, the software is connected to COM13 on this side, which would be COM23 on this side. And if you do that, you can click the test button. We're connected. But let's say for some reason you wanted to change. So let's say we wanted to move these up. So I could come over here, and I've just assigned them in numerical order, but I could come over here and assign this to COM28, and then I could come over here, go into settings, and I could assign this to COM18, and click the test, and we're connected. And we're on COM18 now on this side and COM28 on this side. So very easy to change just from the screen. And we could do the same thing if I go to the logging program. I could, uh, for instance, set this one up for COM27. And I could go over here. can disable this one. I can change this to COM17 and then enable it and click OK. And now we're using COM17 and we're connected. So again, if I change over here, it'll change over here. So that's it. The COM ports work the way they always have. It's just that now you can uh, change them from this window instead of having to edit the Pegasus.ini file. And one other thing too, that if you've used these before, you probably already know, but you'll notice uh, I'm connected to my Tentec Omni 7 transceiver, but you'll notice this says uh, Kenwood. Well, the virtual serial ports use the Kenwood radio command set. So any software you use, you sort of have to uh, quote unquote lie to it but you have to tell it that you're uh, using a Kenwood radio and it may not be the same radio for each piece of software um, so uh, this one says Kenwood and if we go back to WSJT and we look at the settings this one says Kenwood TS-480. I think in FL Digi I had to tell it it was a Kenwood TS-590 uh, to get it to work. So depending on your third-party software, you have to find which Kenwood radio uh, works. But once you get it figured out, it works. So I just wanted to make that little note. So that is about it. Um, trying to think if there's anything else to say about this. Um, it, it's the same COM port setup you've always had. There's just three more of them. And the big news is they can be uh, changed and manipulated from this window here instead of having to edit the Pegasus.ini file. So I think that's all I had to say about this. And um, I appreciate you watching. I hope you find it useful.